Hi, everybody. Welcome to Powerful Truth Angels. My name is Alex Tuton, and welcome to the show. It's a visual audio, YouTube, television, radio podcast. And uh, I'm here just to bring you the truth, the raw truth, the uncut truth. I'm looking over at Jason right now. He's wearing one of his favorite five t-shirts, the Adderall shirt. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about your fucking... When you wear the shirt, the pirate shirt with the piercing in the shirt, it's like... It's like a daddy look at me. Like, please look at me. Please make, please roast me. You might as well wear a shirt that says roast me. It's not even, it's so weird and gross that you can't even roast it. It's just sub, it's almost like, it's almost like the, it's the t-shirt equivalent of like sniffing bike seats at the school as an adult, not as a kid. Because if you're a kid and you're sniffing bike seats and it's okay and they take you to the shrink and, and they try to sort you out before it, before it metastasizes into something horrible. But if you're an adult, someone your age and size and, and, and hair length and, and palette, color palette and complexion, if you're at the if you're at the, uh, the, the school sniffing bike seats, you're in deep shit. So welcome to the show, everybody. Really glad you're here. Uh, we have some uh, we have an esteemed guest coming through. There actually is a guest today. And uh, I, before we get to our guest, let's just kind of talk about what's been going on in the week. Um, you know, Jason likes to give me notes things to talk about because I don't, I don't have time to put together a show. Yeah, and he says that Travis Scott trampled Kardashians pull him from reality series. Houston rockets put Travis Scott day on hold. I didn't even know there was a Travis Scott day. Um, Travis Scott. I love, I love the take. I love the, the, the satanic take on Travis Scott and people linking up, you know, his, his graphic elements to portals, portals of hell opening up. And, you know, if that's the case, uh, if, if, if all these people are actually in league with the devil, I, I would like, I want, I'm down. I'm down because, um, I don't know. I want some of that action. I'm down to like, I'm down to like show, I'm down to display satanic, uh, uh, symbols, images. And, um, what do they call that thing? Uh, that's your, uh, what do they call your personal symbol? When you're doing a ceremony, you, know, you know this. Like a sigil. Sigil. I'm down to. I'm down to this. Of course, you know this. Uh, I'm down. I'm down to display a satanic sigil if it means that like I'm gonna sell uh, more crypto. I'm gonna sell an NFT for an, an exorbitant amount of money. I'm down to do that. I'm down to say that I'm like down with the devil. Uh, now the thing is, my thoughts on it because I don't really believe it, but my thoughts are the devil. You know, because if you think about this, think about it this way. Travis Scott, satanic imagery, sure. I'm sure that that's part of the deal. But if Travis Scott came out and said, I love Christ and check out these little angels, would he be selling the way he is? I don't think so. I don't think the kids, I don't think the kids want to connect to someone telling them to be nice and to and to and to have little cherubs on your shoulder tell you what's good or bad. The kids want to connect to like the devil. They want to go down in the portal. They want to go down to hell because that's where all the fucking perks are. There's no perks in heaven. All the perks are in hell. You want the perk 80s? You got to go to hell to get them. You want the oxys? It's not in heaven. It's all in hell. And that's where all the good drugs are. So Travis Scott, I mean, you ever seen, you, ever, you know who this rapper Daylight is? He does a breakdown. He does a breakdown of Lil Uzi Vert's name. It's amazing. It's stuck in my head forever. You'll find it and put it in here. You said that Lil Uzi Vert is the devil. Yeah, he's most definitely the devil. Devil, devil? Probably the devil. Why, why is he the devil? To be honest, to be actually honest, I talked to him. And he breaks down Lil Uzi Vert's name, and he goes, he says, say Lil Uzi Vert over and over again. Say it. Say Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert, 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 Lil Uzi Vert. That's pretty good. You like that? Huh? You're with the devil, my guy. That's cool. That's fucking cool. That... That fool's straight up Lil Uzi Vert, his name, and he and he also talks about Lil, Lil Uzi Vert has a line where he talks about pointing up, pointing a gun in, in the sky and shooting up the heavens. He breaks it down. Daylight, brilliant dude. He breaks it down in a real way, um, and he explains exactly what the fuck Lil, Lil Uzi Vert's about. So, um, and and that being said, too, it's like, does Lil Uzi Vert is he really in communion with the devil? Does he control the dark spirits? Uh, truthfully, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think he has, I don't think he has access to, 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 to mystical powers, but I think that using that shit as a tool to, 
like what is what's his other option i'm i'm really nice and i love puppies like yeah piss off the parents does he want to does he want his name to say when you repeat it over and over to say golden retriever golden retriever golden retriever golden retriever golden retriever right you don't want that you want to say lucifer devil pussy dick fucking but satan pentagram nas x let's go stripping in the pole on the devil's hell ride right that's what you need to hear that's what the kids want that's what has been going on since the fucking 60s alice cooper and Lil Uzi vert it's just a straight line and since since rap music became rock and roll and took over the whole world of course they got to get in with the devil because the devil's got look the devil owns Ticketmaster and devil owns all the billboards right and the devil probably owns a chunk of spotify at this point so you got to pray the devil now all that being said i don't give a fuck about uh the 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 uh the um the the spiritual implications of this imagery um that doesn't bother me, but I tell you what is creepy is when they start breaking, I don't know how much truth there is to this whole thing, but when they start breaking down the, um, the escalation of gun violence in connection to rap music in bad neighborhoods, which is also promoted by the record company. There's a whole thing on that, which is intense. That's some say that's some satanic shit. If you want to get into it, you know what I'm talking about? You do, you know about that whole thing. And I don't know if that's real either. Not, I don't know if anything's real. I saw I saw the guy on Instagram uh, with he's in front of a he's in front of a, an industrial sized freezer I think in Walmart and he goes it's a gas chamber look at the gauge Walmart gas Take chamber five. Let me show y'all some It's the gas chamber that everybody keep talking about in Walmart They just built this literally last night right he's like this is a gas chamber and i don't know what it was but the thing about the power of the internet is that you can just get a guy and he can show you a bunch of body bags in a warehouse and be like they're building the death camps we're all gonna fucking die and it's like well yes or where do someone's got to ship body bags somewhere body bags are distributed out of some warehouse maybe they go through walmart i don't fucking know doesn't necessarily mean that there's fema death camps being prepared i mean when when are we gonna get dumped in these fema death camps I mean, but again, what's cooler? Satan is real. You're interacting with Satan or they're just it's just warehouse distribution. You know, that must be a cool way to look at the devil is a lie. Yeah. Okay. so look, (laughs) I you know, I don't think that Walmart is is going to gas people. And I don't think that Walmart's creating FEMA camps. But I will say that. The lines are getting very blurred and anything can happen. And the only way out, everyone, the only way out of this mess is we're going to just, it's just like, it's just, we just have to give into the matrix. Okay. We're going to have to plug into the metaverse, put me in the pod, just make me cool. Make me sure. Sh- I want to be ripped. I want to be, I want to be pretty ripped. Um, I don't need to be ripped. I want to be like physically like way better shape than I am. I want to be in really good shape physically. I like to have a good amount of money, be handsome, you know? in the in the matrix oh, yeah. plug me in and i'll be a battery because i just what does it what does it matter it doesn't matter like i i don't want to know the truth just give me the lie and i'll live in the lie and i'll enjoy my life because life is fucking hard and when you live in reality and the truth and the powerful truth angels and it's it's tough to to navigate the actual truth of what's going on because it hurts the truth hurts yeah when i tell you that you look like ichabod crane if he was in a, a christian metal band it hurts you because it's true yeah it does hurt. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I was just complimenting him, you guys. Hi, guys. Like and subscribe, by the way, everyone. Like and subscribe. Um, this is my new pitch. Look, go to go to YouTube. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Drop a bunch of likes. That's how we get our. That's how we get our fedio. That's how we get our cash. Right. That's how we get our chippers. Uh, that's how we get our money. If you don't like and subscribe, we don't keep the lights on here. I can't keep Omar alive. I can't pay Alex to watch to walk Omar. I can't pay uh, Jason to do whatever the fuck it is that he does. And I can't pay these guys to basically disrupt my life one day a week by coming into my home and recording the show. Please like and subscribe. It's very simple. You go to YouTube, you go to the Powerful Truth Angels, and you just, all you take your finger, you go on your phone, and you go to YouTube and you just, you just subscribe. It's it. And you're done. I don't want nothing else from you. Just get the numbers up so we can watch the show. Because the more numbers we have, the more money we get. It's an abstract fucking weird concept. It's not even real. None of it's real. I'm not asking you for money. I'm asking you to hit a fucking button. How hard is it to hit a like button? You just go boop. I mean, if I was you watching me asking you to like and subscribe, I would actually be swayed by this by this pitch 
because you're t- it's literally you might be burning you might you might be burning half a calorie just pressing the the heart and the subscribe button and then you're locked in with us and let me tell you the other side after after begging you to like and subscribe what you get from that is you get peace of mind you get the comfort of knowing you're part of a community that's ever growing and powerful and can wrap you up in this gigantic 30 foot arms you get to have access to jason's innermost thoughts which are pretty much useless and you also get to see uh, what's going on in Omar's life and is, is she still alive and you get to see the the eventual day when she does die which I'll be talking about in the show it's going to happen maybe next year uh, you also get to know what's going on with me and my mental health you get to know what kind of juice I'm drinking what kind of vitamins I'm eating and you get to kind of stay in touch with just the basic back and forth of the powerful truth angels and uh, that's how you well, that's what you do when you like and subscribe and um, give me one second my guest is here Whoa, what you got? What is that? Oh, I thought you I thought you had an I thought you had an alcoholic drink. Oh no, no. I was like, you're I was gonna I was actually I had a lot of respect for just pulling up with like a uh some fucking Boone's farm type shit. Yeah. In the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah some fucking uh wine cooler. A wine cooler, yeah. <laughs> a wine cooler on a Friday for no reason. <laughs> what do you have you seen the video of the dude in Walmart where he shows the industrial uh freezer and he says it's a gas chamber? No. And he goes <laughs> He goes, there's a pressure pressure gauge is proof that this is a yeah. gas chamber. And then he shows all the body bags. Yo. You know, the Walmart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, FEMA camp type shit. The like, FEMA camp, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the world ends, we're going to end up in a fucking Walmart. I mean, <laughs> we might. Yeah. We could, you could end up going to jail and they're like, well, county's booked, so we're going to throw you in the Walmart yeah. over here in Riverside. <laughs> but Walmarts are insane. They, they do got like those like underground, like, like holding tanks and then like all the cameras set up in every aisle, bro. I seen like a video of a fucking Walmart. They had like a fucking camera like every three feet. You ever rock from Walmart? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Walmart is like, it's like, um, I think they had a rule, bro. Like, you know, niggas always like make up uh, like rumors about rules and like loss prevention and shit like that. Where it's like, oh yeah, it's like under 50 bucks. They won't chase you and shit like that. So I was fucking racking a fucking uh, a baseball bat. You know what I mean? Like just to have in the car. Yeah. You know, so then I'm like walking out with a fucking baseball bat on my leg and a dude, fucking security dude chases me. And I'm just like running in a parking lot. I'm like, yeah, you're like peg legging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a little limp, you know? <laughs> I mean, basically we're racking right now. I think it's just a stand down, right? I yeah. mean, for a minute in COVID. Yeah. It, I remember this. Um, It was a basic, like, if you rack, they just don't, t- they just go like this. They yeah, don't. yeah. So people were just going in there and just getting buckets of shit. Yeah, it was good to go. Right? Yeah. Is that still going on or is that is it kind of leveled out now? I, I think it's still going on. I feel like, because people are like running up fucking Walgreens and shit like that, like in the Bay Area, because they got the whole lots of rich you can't touch you shit. So they're just like, all right, for sure. Like, I'm going to take my time, grab what I really want. Like, you know what I mean? Fill up a duffel bag and then, and then walk crazy. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's dope. You and the, co- <laughs> the cops have basically like, the cops are pouting. I talked to a guy. Um, I talk about this all the time, but the police, right? This guy I do jujitsu with used to be a cop. And I talked to him, I go, what's up with the cops? He's like, well, they're pouting because they don't like the protests. So yeah. now they're like, well, they won't, they won't come out unless you kill somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, you blow some shit up, break a car, rob someone. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. They're just like, they're not ah, figure it out. You didn't want to, you didn't want to back the blues. So yeah. the, we're not going to back you <laughs> to up. To fund the know? police, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To fund the police, yeah. right? And they're still getting a paycheck, but they ain't, they ain't doing shit. So yeah, if you're yeah, a criminal, yeah. it's a good time to be a criminal. Yeah. Right now is the time, bro. It's, now's the t- it's, it's crazy. You know now's the time. It's criminal if, season. If, if you ever, if you ever wanted to break a law, right now is the motherfucking time, bro. These niggas will not stop you. They'll look at you and just be like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not really. Not really what I want to do right now. I mean, that's the. I think that's too like, like because graffiti, graffiti is like basically legal at this point, right? Yeah. Like there. Have you have you have you seen anyone write or been writing anywhere and seen cops pull up and just be like, eh. yeah, bro, that shit happens to me all the time. Really? Yeah. Like especially like right here, like downtown, like downtown is like, goddamn, like, um, it's like pretty much anything right there is legal. You know what I mean? Like you just walk up daytime. Start painting, woo, woo, and then the cops will just look at you and just like make it look nice. You know what I mean? And it's like it's like, like put fuck the police on there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Yeah. You got some random ass gang barrier pull up on you, like throw me up, fools. Like yeah. I don't know if I can do that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I think I feel like the the way that they do that too is that they leave, they get real lenient, and then one day they just like 
they yeah. clamp down yeah and everyone thinks it's all good it's like you know when you have like a legal yard you paint in for a while yeah and you're like oh it's cool man and you start bringing in barbecue grills and shit and then yeah. one day they just raid yeah yeah and start fucking swooping everybody you're up. the example you're the yeah. example you know yeah. it's crazy i was thinking about that shit too because it's like like during the whole covid you know pandemic shit you've been seeing the freeways getting crushed right like the yeah. one crush the five yeah. seven ten and there's all these like random ass people you've never seen before in your life you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like it's like a pandemic of toys too. Like yeah, they weren't I mean? shooting in the gym. Yeah, They just, yeah, they they just was, came yeah. out. They're like, oh, it's a free for all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. right. I heard. Yeah. I heard. I can do this again. And it, yeah. it, it, another dope thing is like a lot of OGs came out. Like you know what I mean? Because like I heard it's good. Like you know what yeah. I mean? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna risk my family to <laughs> doing this shit. You know. But but. And you know, the freeways are packed, but respectfully. Yeah. You look at it. It's like peace. Like it's like throw up, throw up, throw up, peace, throw up. Like it's just all like. It's just like everyone's just chilling. Yeah, like it's yeah. not chaotic. It looks like perfectly stacked because I drive and I look all the time. I don't write anymore. Yeah, yeah. I want to, but I don't want. I don't. I don't. I can't. I, I'm like I go to bed at ten. Like I'm yeah, not, I'm fucking. I'm a fucking nerd. Like I'm not doing shit. But, <laughs> but I it's see another it. Job. Like, it's like a full time job. It's a full time you know? job. Yeah, you know. I was talking to uh, I was talking to a dude in the gym today. I'm like, because he's talking about he's talking about he's like what's up with your crew and all this. I'm like we're all we we're all like adult. We work. Yeah. I'm like if you want to be a graffiti writer and you want to be in a crew that works. That's your job. You can't have a fucking real job. Yeah. Your job is writing graffiti, like full. Like when I was a graffiti writer, there was a decade where that's all, somehow that's all I did for fucking 10 years. It's yeah. Like, this is it. This is it. I got to do it. I got to bomb. I got to yeah. do it. You know, like that was my entire focus. Yeah. And, and I didn't, and I, it's also one of those things too, where it's like, if you really get into it, you're, you're just, it's such a crazy thing to do because there is no, there's no end game. Yeah. Nothing. Right. You, like maybe now, maybe now you can like become an artist or something, but. But you're gonna have to stop painting, though. You gotta stop painting. Yeah, you know? yeah. And the other thing is, if you, my, I have a theory too that if you get too good at graffiti, you can never quit. Yeah, yeah. Like if you get so good that you're just like one of the best, like whatever it is, bombers, more like more people bombers, like the, some of the illest hand style dudes. Yeah, they can't stop because it feels too good. Yeah, they'll yeah. never quit. No, people are addicted to that. Like addicted. you know what I mean? They're just like, yo, I've never got so much props in my life. You know, people love me. Yeah, this is that. Like yeah, but the fucking. Everything else in your life is fucking crumbling down. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Everything else is falling apart. Yeah, but, yeah. but a bunch of 15 year old dudes love you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, a bunch of kids like, like hit my black book. Like, you know what I mean? That being said, not shitting on writers because I have the utmost respect for writers. I think my entire life came from being involved with doing graffiti. Oh my God. It's honestly like full dedication to like, to, to art. Like, so even if you're an artist, you got to respect graffiti writers because these people are like, Putting their live livelihood on the line, you know, yeah. their freedom on the line. Yep, and and it, and it's it's full dedication. It's, full dedication. You know, like I remember, like my entire lifestyle, like everything I did was influenced by being a writer and who I was and what crew I was in and like from what I fucking wore to where I ate everything. Yeah, the whole shit. And like I think it was the first thing I was dedicated to in a real way. And then maybe from there I learned that I could do other things. Yeah. But before I did that, I was like completely worthless. Like, mm -hmm. and it even took me a long time to figure out how to do other things. But I was like, at least I can do this. Yeah. Like, at least I figured out how to like do a piece or, or or throw up. Yeah. And I was like, and that that take that's a long fucking haul, right? Yeah. That takes a long time to figure out. I feel like the people that do graffiti are like people that just kind of um, they're um, you know thinking outside the box, right? Because a normal person is driving on a freeway and looking straight forward, as in like the graffiti writers driving on the freeway and they're like. That's a spot right there. That's another spot right here. It's, you know what I mean? So we're, we're thinking more critical about our, our surroundings and shit like that. And that's why like a lot of these people that are like trendsetters, you know, culture pushers and shit like that were people that are involved in like the graffiti scene. You know what I mean? That like like made that transition from like graffiti to whatever the fuck they want to do. So we didn't even, we just started talking. Let's introduce yourself. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, Sita. You know, see the AKA, AKA Polo Cuddy. Polo Cuddy. Yeah. You might have seen him on the gram. Yeah. You might have seen him outside. Um, yeah, we were going to have a, a graffiti round table today. Alloy dropped out. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I started thinking of who to call, but like everyone's like, like revokes in Detroit. I would have hit him up. GK's in fucking Philly. Like, I, you know, some of the, it's like for to do a graffiti roundtable talk, you got to find the people that have the best stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I want to talk about the stories. Yeah, I want to talk about the beefs, the chases, all that stuff. But we'll revisit that. Yeah, we'll have I'll have another show where we really get into like graffiti history yeah. stuff because people find it interesting. And I think it's like you're from a different generation than we're from. Yeah. So I'd like to have the balance. Yeah. And have like 
it's good to have like one of my guys and then you can have your perspective because you're from J4F mm -hmm. and um, what else, what other crew are you from? Uh, B and Dub. B and Dub, okay. Yeah. Um, so, but let's talk about, uh, what else? What else is going on? Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? What's happening? Shit, man. Um, I just been kind of working really like I've been on, I was on the airbrush shit. You know what I mean? I did the uh, channel five shit. Uh, what are you doing for channel five? They had me, they had me uh, do a fucking uh, correspondence shit. I was like interviewing people. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Are you doing it with the mask on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're pulling up the people with the ski mask just on the street interviewing yeah. people? Well, like the first time I did it, I had a fucking, um, I just had a little, uh, you know, hospital mask and then yeah. I had a ski mask kind of like rolled up to like right above my eyes oh, and yeah, shit like yeah. that. So I'm still kind of cutty, but you know what I mean? Like not really putting myself out there because I was at a protest, you know what I mean? Like it was a, a protest for reparations. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then like, I didn't really want to walk up to people with a ski mask on. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Wild. Yeah, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, they're not going to talk to me, you know? Yeah, you're a big dude too. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fuck, who, who is <laughs> Looking like fucking someone out of Fat Albert and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, God. Wild. Mush mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mush mouth. But like, brolic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you're doing, uh, uh, you're doing shit with Channel 5. And, uh, and then the airbrush thing. I saw some shit you did recently. Yeah. Did you, you're airbrushing that stuff yourself? Yeah. What did I just see? Let me pull this shit up. <laughs> With the second font? <laughs> go to polo, go to polocuddy.com. He's got, he's got the Sonic the Hedgehog fucking pig free Palestine shirt. Yeah, like when I, every time I get, I get all excited about airbrushing. Yeah. This happens every couple of years. Yeah. I go out, this is fucked up. I go out and I buy, I buy the, the compressor and I get the airbrush. And I put it in my office and I and I start you and I go, fuck, it's too fucking hard. Yeah. I want the easy way out. I don't want to fucking figure because it's a it's a like it's a it's a it's a thing. Like learning yeah. how to airbrush properly. Like I was over at a cartoons place because we did a thing with him and he's like showing showing his airbrushing skills, like teaching his kid how to airbrush. And I was like, fuck, I wish I was like I wish I was in a position where I could just sit under someone and learn how to airbrush yeah. for like a year. Yeah. Because just just navigating the different colors in those cups makes me crazy. And it's just before long, I'm such a messy person. Yeah. Like, there's just paint everywhere and I'm fucking spray. It's fucking nightmare. Bro, I need a studio, bro. Cause my, a studio. My, I'll be in the crib and my girl hates it because it's like paint all over the floor. And I'm yeah. just like, yeah, I'll clean it up later. I'll clean it up later. But yeah. it's like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like paint stains everywhere. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'll clean it up later. It's just stained. Yeah. Yeah. You but, gotta. <laughs> I got paint on the fucking ceiling, fucking uh, trying to fix the gun. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I did. Oh, the fucking the nozzle was clogged and I, and I sprayed it and it shot up. And oh, like yeah. hit the fucking ceiling and I, I couldn't get the fucking stain off. So I just had this huge like black mark on my ceiling. Yeah, you can't you can't run that in the apartment. You gotta have a you gotta have a space. You gotta have yeah. a wet room, they call yeah. it, right? You gotta have a an industrial that's what I want. I want some sort of industrial space I can just fucking spackle everything. Yeah, just fuck shit up. Fuck it up. You know? you know what I mean? We want to tell you about the brand new headgum podcast, History of Heat, presented by StockX. The hilarious Yasser and Isaiah Lester are brothers and comedic writers who love everything that's considered heat. If you're wondering what heat is, heat is what's cool. You understand what I'm saying? Heat is not what's hot, it's what's cool. Heat is ice, stay icy. Whether it's fashion, art, skating, or even video games. Are video games cool? No, they are so not. Video games are definitely cool. What do you think? You play, what are you doing over there? You playing Frogger, Alex? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, Dig Dug, Tetris, uh, <laughs> Duck Hunt. Every episode, Yasser and Isaiah are joined by guests like Langston Kerman, Vashti Kola, and Steve Barra, to name a few, to discuss and share never before heard stories about some of the most hype and influential brands <laughs> born and raised. They'll talk about everything from Nike, Marvel, and Supreme to Crocs and Travis Scott, Collabs, born and raised. Powered by real time data and insights from StockX, the global marketplace for authentic current culture products, History of Heat dissects the past, present, and future of all things Heat, born and raised. If you're a fan of our show, Look out for their episode on Streetwear, which talks about how a mom and pop screen press t shirt can turn into a global brand like Supreme and Stussy or Born and Raised. Um, subscribe to History of Eat on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts and be on the lookout for new episodes every other Thursday. I remember when I transitioned from racking to not racking, and you go in a store and you're like, well, why would I pay for something that's free? Yeah. This is free. This is not, you don't pay for this. Yeah, exactly. And you start thinking about everything that way gum, hair care products, food, steaks. Yeah. Like, you're just like, why pay for this? It's an open market, especially now. Yeah. If they're just like hands up, it's like a fucking free for all. I was like addicted to that shit for like a cool minute. You know what right. I mean? Like, just wake up in the morning and then just be like, 
all right, I'm gonna go to the store. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, that's all I do. Like, all I do all day is like steal shit, like go on missions, like drive to like fucking like the whitest area I know. You know what I mean? That has like like everything out there. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's just like, all right, cool. Like, I got like six jackets today. Fucking, I found out the magnet can take off the tops of the fucking bottles at Ralph's. So I started getting like hella bottles of like Buchanan's or Buchanan's. You know what I mean? However you want to pronounce it, right. like Hennessy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like until I got like it was like until I got too fat to like wear the shit I stole. You know what I mean? And yeah. then, <laughs> I was like, all right, let me slow down. And then like yeah. EDD started popping, and I'm just like, all right, I don't even need to steal no more. Like I right. got hella bread. <laughs> and you can't rack a gym membership or a personal trainer. You can't. Well, right? look, I I did I did the gym membership right. You get the free trial, and then with the free trial, you get a you get a free uh, lesson with the personal trainer. Okay. Right. So the personal trainer teaches you all these exercises. Okay. And you just memorize that shit. You feel me? <laughs> See, you, know? you still you still beat the system. Yeah. You're like one lesson. I got it all. I'm fucking Neo now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, good looking, good looking. <laughs> you just you get know? loaded up with everything. Like, yeah. All the exercises. You know. <laughs> I mean, is it how how old are you? I'm 31. Okay, so you're you're gonna you're gonna head to you're gonna approach a time in your life where you start to have to think about your health. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. Look, look at this. You see, look, look at all these vitamins I take. See? Yo, that's wild. This is, <laughs> this is where I, this is where I say, I gotta take all these vitamins. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even know if they work. Yeah. I, it might be a fucking placebo. Yeah. I don't even know if these. I don't even know if these vitamins are real. But in my mind, if I take these vitamins, I'm gonna live longer and be stronger. You see this fucking shit? Yeah. What is that? This is, this beets. Is, this is beets, carrots, uh, spinach. Everything I can think of that I don't want to eat, I just put it in a blender. So I drink it. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Yeah. And I, and that and, and and I had that I had to have a lifestyle change. Yeah. Because uh I used to live a different way and I was I was gonna die. Yeah, did you go did you go through like a health scare or something like that? I mean I've been to multiple health scares. Like yeah. I just like, you know, a few years ago I fucking blew up like a goddamn fucking like a balloon. Yeah. Because I was stressed out. I because I don't I don't I don't drink anymore i don't i don't i don't get high i don't drink so then when i'm stressed out i can't smoke i can't drink so then i have to find something else because i'm just fucking crazy yeah right? i'll fucking eat pizza and shit and if i'm not dealing with my stress i just start fucking expanding and i have to address this stuff but i've always been like there was a point like even when i was younger in my late 20s where i started just trying to figure out how to be healthy and if you grow up in an unhealthy way because i used to think when i was younger when i first moved out i was like top ramen is a meal yeah. Right. I was like, you take top ramen and you put some dry shrimp in there. Yeah, you put seasoning. Yeah, a little, put, yeah, a little extra seasoning. I was yeah. like, I'm a fucking chef. <laughs> yeah. And then one time, this my friend showed me how to make rice, and I was like, I know how to make rice. This is like my early. <laughs> this is my teen years. Yeah, yeah. So I knew how to make top ramen and rice, and I ate that for years. Yeah. You know, and top ramen, rice, fast food, and just fucking you know malt lick, all that, all that shit. Yeah. Like, that was kind of my lifestyle, and I don't know what happened, man. I got, I don't know why I just started like, I just started switching over. I think maybe like. Hippie parents? I don't fucking okay. know. Like I had something in the back of my head that was like, go to the health food store. You know what I mean? <laughs> something was leading me there. Yeah. And then that's a whole other thing. Like you just start you start spending money on dumb shit like fucking vitamins and, <laughs> and organic beets at the farmers market. You'll yeah. be you'll be you'll cross over one I feel of like days. I feel like I'm I'm headed that way, bro. Yeah. I feel like I'm headed that way. I used to I used to wild out, bro. Like uh, like people that knew me like back in the day, at least like before like twenty fourteen or whatever, like I used to be out here like hella skinny, still a little bit stocky, you know what I mean? You got the broad shoulders, but I was hella skinny. I was fucking like popping to eat pills oh, like yeah. every other day, just running amok, you know what I mean? Drinking drinking hella King Cobras. I oh. found out, but we, so we, we had this trap house, right? Uh -huh. Which is like pretty much like it was in Van Nuys, so it's just an abandoned house that people used to skate in the pool, whatever. Like we had like hella candles, couches, shit on the inside, and we'd just drink there like till we pass out. And we're drinking King Cobras, and like one day I'm like drinking King Cobra, and I spit it on this candle, and the whole shit just like <laughs> flames no up. way, yeah, I swear. And I'm just like, wow. yo, what the fuck? I know King Cobra had that much booze. Had... <laughs> well, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, I don't even, I don't even think King Cobra is even beer. Yeah, I think some of that malt liquor isn't even like, I don't think it's actually beer anymore. I think it's some other shit. Yeah, because I know some dudes who who actually were strung out on some of those different malt liquors, like a King Cobra, like something in that vein. There's like King Cobra, St. Ives, 8-Ball. Uh, Night Train. Um, Night Train. Yeah. And then there was, a, there was one, um, there was like one that was named after like, a, it was named after like a native thing. It was like some other fucking booze. And some of those things I don't think are even classified as beer. I think they're just like, are you, are you Googling that for me? It's, I was just a Native American malt liquor. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it, it was some, 
crazy yeah, it was a horse. crazy horse yeah, yeah yeah that kind of shit which is like you can't even, you can't even come out with a beer yeah. crazy horse now they fucking shut you down but, but um <laughs> just full like straight up just a racist malt liquor yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean the, the whole concept of malt liquor is racist like Zane. they they market it to black people in, in the in the hood by fucking uh ice cube and saint ives like yeah it's yeah not even snoop dog yeah I, that, that, that picture is so dope but it's like Yo, he's yeah. a 40. You yeah. know what I mean? In every liquor store, <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh my God, Snoop's telling me to drink. Like, yeah, yeah. I felt the same way about like McDonald's commercials. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that the funny thing too about that McDonald's shit is like, you know, I think there was a point at which people would have people would have hated on rappers for doing a McDonald's deal. Yeah. But now it's like a come up. Yeah, yeah. It's not even a thing. Like now it's like, because I, I still think about McDonald's as like the fucking devil, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, if like McDonald's comes with a check, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't want to fucking do that. But no one cares. Yeah, right? Get the Bad Bunny meal. Yeah. <laughs> Get the Bad Bunny meal. <laughs> you know, right? make the Sweetie, got the, Sweetie had a meal. Oh, the Sweetie meal? Yeah, right? That was real, Yeah, right? yeah it was real. Sweetie it, meal. It's like, the same. It's regular shit. They just put their name on it. You they put their name I mean? on it. Travis Scott had that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is, uh, which leads us to part of your... Uh, we were talking about Travis Scott earlier. Yeah. And the whole thing with that concert. Man, that was yeah. insane. And and you weren't there, were you? I wasn't there. You weren't there. Nah. Was it was it in LA? Well, actually I was there. No, I got he a class there. action lawsuit. <laughs> Whoa, what? What? No. We're getting PTSD. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the <laughs> Oh, my bad. Never mind. What happened? I wasn't some... there. Oh, yeah. I was there. No, I was there. I was there. <laughs> I was at the I was at the Astro World. There. You yeah. were there. I remember you brought back some merch. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was there. Just for the record, he was at Astroworld. He did help out some innocent bystanders. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Astroworld, Satan, all that shit. My take on that, we were talking about earlier, is uh, you know, if they are, if these people are communicating with the devil, I'd like a piece. Yeah. Hook me up. I need some of that bread. I want some of that bread. I'll do it. Satan, I'll, come on. Yeah, Satan. What do I gotta do? Take a bloodbath? Yeah. Bloodbath. Eat some, <laughs> eat, eat some infants? Yeah. I'll, I'll fucking eat a baby. Hell yeah. Like, let's go. For what? Veal? Give me like 200K. I'll fucking eat it. Spirit, spirit soup, bloodbath, like some adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah, give me some of that shit. I want to be stronger. Nothing major, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll take no, that. <laughs> nothing major. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I low-key wanted. I look. I want. I low-key wanted to hit uh, Hollywood Boulevard with all that shit was popping off, and like have a trench coat and just be like, "Yo, I got that adrenochrome." Like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, you should have done that. Would have been a good skit. Oh, when they were doing the QAnon. Thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I drove through that shit when when it was happening. I drove through. I was I was trying to go to the doctor. And I make a right on Hollywood. I'm in the middle of this like QAnon. I didn't know what was happening. This QAnon protest. And this guy has a sign. He goes, honk if you're not a pedophile. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> I'm like, do I, what, yeah. am I agreeing? Do I honk? I mean, I'm not. Right. It's like such a weird, That's such a right? It's such a crazy. weird thing. It's such a weird uh, sign. It's either you're honking or you're not, bro. Yeah. What's up? Are you a pedophile? And he's like, why aren't you honking? I'm like, yeah, but I don't know you. But yeah, I guess yeah. I'm honking. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, question. Would you Would you rather be um, at Astro World or on the Alec Baldwin set? Oh, my God. Well, would I rather be the DP on the Alec Baldwin set? or I'd rather be... Fuck, that's a good question. <laughs> the Alec Baldwin set, I think... Is it, it? It was probably so dark when it happened. Yeah, and I feel like on the Alec Baldwin set, I don't know what's I don't know what's scarier, because I feel like the Alec Baldwin thing is more intimate, because they just he just shot her like it was like and it, no one saw it coming. With Travis Scott, it's like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know where I'd rather be. Yeah, I'd rather be I'd rather be Astro World, I think, because I I probably because I I don't like the crowds. I would have got away from that shit. Yeah, right. I mean, I want to believe that. I want to say, like, with that shit, we was talking about that shit yesterday. It was kind of like, all right, you know, rest in peace to that kid. You know, he's a, like the nine-year-old, right? There's a nine-year-old. They, they, they got trampled. Yeah. A nine-year-old? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Is that, is that real? I think so. Or I don't think he's dead. I think he might be on life support or some shit like what? that. Yeah, but his whole wow. insides pretty much just got crushed. You know what I mean? So they did have a... I didn't... I'm just... Like, unfortunately... He's critically injured. Yeah. Here's, but, the most, here's the most fucked up part about my yeah. life is that I do get a lot of my news from third hand from Instagram. Hell yeah. So I know what happened and I'm watching. That's I, Dude, I'll tell you how fucked up it is. I'm so busy. I get I get my news from memes. <laughs> like, how fucked is that? Yeah. Like, I'm not paying attention. Like, I'm not going to the thing and reading the shit. I get a meme and I'm like, oh, Afterworld fuck, got fucked up. And then I'm starting <laughs> to see that that people got trampled. Like, it was layers of people, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy. It's just like passing out and then getting stepped on. But it's like, bro, like. Why do you have a nine-year-old in a mosh pit? 
Yeah, why is there a nine year old at the show? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it makes no sense. Like, no, a nine year old shouldn't be at a Yeah, right. Show. I've seen nine year olds at concerts, like in the cut with like headphones. headphones on. You know what I mean? Don't damage your little ears. Yeah, but they're at like you know Modest I mean? Mouse or some shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, right? you're... they're like at some like fucking crunchy granola gym. <laughs> yeah, like it's yeah. not Travis a Scott. A Hollywood Bowl picnicking in the back. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like fucking Radiohead and Grizzly Bear. Like, <laughs> they're not fucking at Travis Scott. Yeah. It's well, lit. Like, yeah. You know? <laughs> It's <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, all all respects to the people who yeah. are injured, worshiping the devil with yeah. Travis. Right. Um, the portal opened up. You know, like, can I say that? I can't. We gotta bleep this. Yeah, it's getting a little dark. Yeah, <laughs> make it too dark. I don't want to lose our sponsor. You know, I might talk myself out of a couple bucks. <laughs> Yo, we fuck with Satan. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of editing on this. <laughs> Some of this shit's so sensitive. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. how it is. Like, I I listened to I listened to myself talk on a show the other day, and I yeah. was like, I I I was terrified. What I just what I yeah. said just talking because you, you know. Because I watched the show by the way. You watched the show. Yeah, I actually actually wanted to. You answered it, but I always wanted to ask you what was in the jar. Oh, what was in the jar? Yeah, I, like, I was like, I, <laughs> oh yeah. I, Give this man a mic. Give him a mic. Yeah. We got another masked man. Yeah. Are you a writer too? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. What do you write? For SRT. Oh, shit. Yes. OS. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. Uh, no one... This is. I just made this shit up. Like, I don't even know if it's if, it, if I'm doing the right thing. It looks here's, fire. Here's my... It's okay. It's like I'm drinking, like, vegetable jam. Yeah. <laughs> and my theory is this. Uh, you're supposed to eat raw. You're supposed to get raw vegetables in you. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. I love them talking to two guys in ski pants about, about eating raw vegetables. No, but I, I got Gentlemen, a, I got a, I got, a, I got, a, I got a, uh, uh, was a recipe for you though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a good one. Just straight, you just put, uh, put you on game. Uh, get some uh, sweet potatoes. Okay. Yeah. And then cook them. Sold. I'm in. Cook them right. Yeah. And then add the sweet potatoes to your like, like add it with banana and Ooh. like all that stuff. That sounds like it's fire. Yo. It's like it's like a my, sweet potato yo, smoothie. If this it sells and you want to invest, we got it. We can do this what? like yeah. That sounds fire. It's yo. just it, so you you get the sweet potatoes, yeah, and then you get the bananas and like all that like a little like, cinnamon the, maybe in there. Yeah, like cardamom and stuff like that, and you like and like a little turmeric and like Damn. pretty much everything, and then boom, this is that's my that's my secret because I went vegan for like for like a year. Oh okay. And uh, I ain't vegan. I'm internet vegan, but not vegan he's the internet yeah vegan. yeah i'm an internet vegan yeah so i did uh, I, I tried to go vegan when uh uh three years ago that that kind of propaganda film came out about oh the about meat. the meat industry yeah the meat uh know you know your meat or something like that i think or? that's what it was and everyone went vegan yeah like i watched i was like fuck it i'll go vegan yeah and i went vegan for three months and I just started gaining so much weight because. What were you eating? I was fucking bullshit. Like I would go to the, <laughs> I go to the vegan spot and be like, "Well, this is vegan." I fucking eat like yeah, a donut. Yeah, 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 like nah. this is vegan, and I just started eating shit. I was like, Burr, expanding. That's all that fucking like, I like. That's that bullshit. It's vegan, that bullshit right? vegan. It's like it's like you want that's that that's that puff you up vegan. Like, like when, I, when I vegan, I would literally probably drink like five smoothies a day. The only problem is when I would work, I would like and I miss a, like a meal. I would like crash if I didn't have like enough. Yeah. I would like almost pass the fuck out. Yo, sweet potatoes in the smoothie, I'm fucking down. Yo, try it. Yeah, I eat sweet potatoes shit. every yeah. day. Yeah. So you gotta cook it to like yeah. you to know where soft. they to yeah, get yeah. soft and yeah. then like add it to bananas and like all I'm already I got I got cooked sweet potatoes. Almond in the fridge. butter and that's, <laughs> that's a staple for me. Yeah, you got yeah, it. You know here. that you know sweet potatoes are good for you. They got they're like a yeah, solid like, ass, good ass food for Yeah, yeah. I always substitute that shit when I can. You know what I mean? Man, sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, this shit is like beets, carrots, spinach, sometimes broccoli and apple, turmeric, lemon juice. With a with a green juice base, and all and greens like whatever the fuck else yeah. like kale. Yeah. And and I make it and it's okay, but I'm just like, I don't know. It's a way I can chug a salad, but I don't <laughs> know if it's, I don't know if it's like I don't know if like, well, I, no one gave me this idea. I just started doing it because I because I feel like if you drink juice, you lose the fiber. Well, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, you, you put want a pulp in there. Yeah, you like need the yeah. pulp, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want the pulp. And you want the pulp. You want the pulp. Uh, <laughs> plus you <Hope> it up. <laughs> <laughs> you want the pulp um, also uh, use use uh, coconut coconut juice your base mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know it's cheaper yep. and then like it, like you don't have to like use another 
Uh, Spore knows what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healthy ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're kind of solid. Do you, are you not vegan anymore? Nah, but the homie, the homie, uh, uh, you know, he knows people who people know who he is. Uh, he's been vegan for like 15 years. It's 15, 15, 20 years. Mm-hmm. He put out. He he was vegan before all those other like writers were vegan. You know, he but he he started he started that craze. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of. Group. I remember those. Yeah, the vegan, the vegan writers. writers. Yeah. Yeah, you meet them. They're like. You see, you meet these writers. No disrespect to them. Like, they're cool. No, they're uh, cool as fuck. Nah, but they're yeah. cool, man. <laughs> He's like, fuck that shit. You gotta eat beef. Yeah. It's all about beef. We eat, yeah. drink, sleep. Beef, beef, beef. Yeah, right. yeah they're not cool. Yeah, you don't eat filet mignon, yeah. bro. <laughs> Y'all don't go to Lowry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And sway the way. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Um, you have a racking. Are we racking. going back to racking? Are we going to go back to racking? I mean, listen, man. Graffiti, the graffiti world is alive and well yeah i remember that there was when they when they made graffiti um a federal offense what like seven nine eight nine years ago remember that yeah yeah you remember everything dried up for a minute motherfuckers were not tagging because yeah, fools sure. are getting thrown that's when they buffed yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like oh wait a minute i'm not getting tickets anymore i have to go to jail yeah. <laughs> like oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. and i remember seeing like the freeways got like it stopped yeah like it because they were throwing fucking time at people it was what, site, how many years did they give site tricks got, too yeah, yeah they site, got, site got eight or eleven years yeah. for the rtd shit and oh then, really this is like stuff that like all the younger kids I, they like they probably have no idea what we're talking about but like well do you yeah. guy, I remember a guy from my crew before that happened He's one of the first guys to get like federal time for graffiti GK. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Screw. He, I remember he did like a year for graffiti and we were like, cause he did so much damage. Yeah. And they just, they, they racked it all up. They're like, oh, this equates $1.6 million worth of damage. Yeah. Like, we're going to give you a year and like, you know, doing a year in the pen for graffiti. Cause remember when I was a kid, it was like, you get a ticket, uh, you do some community service and it was like a revolving door. Yeah. You are, right, I got caught. Okay. I'll go paint some walls and you try to finish it up. And Which makes the most sense to me, like right? Yeah, yeah. it's like, hey, like, <laughs> yeah, look, okay, I'll go paint some walls. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah. That's a five gallon bucket of oops paint. Like, come on, yeah, we good. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know, man. The the fucking um, the idea of it being, the idea of it being a federal crime is pretty ridiculous. But now it's not a crime at all. No? Yeah, it's not at all. Crime. I mean, it can be federal if you touch the right shit, though. Yeah, if yeah. you touch the right shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you piss off the right fucking yeah. person. I would hate to go to jail for graffiti, bro. It's just like the most embarrassing crime. Yeah, you're right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. all these gay bangers are in there. You know, they're like, "What you in here for?" Yeah, like, like five nine four. It's like, like yeah. uh, oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, they, I caught you tagging the ball, him. I will shoot you, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like, right? Damn, I feel like such a fucking fucking lame. <laughs> yeah, like, all these people are in here for like murder and like yeah, fucking yeah. like all the types of you know? yeah, fuck all that. Well, even before that, there was the uh, in the nineties too. There was a the thing with the tag bangers. I mean, it's probably. He was probably a little young for that, but the tag banger shit blew up. And then they had a, the gangster green laid everyone in your feet in jail for graffiti for a while. Yeah. So then it was really terrifying because like, fuck, if I do go to jail, I got to deal with all this shit. Yeah. And they were just like, you know, fools are getting going into jail for graph getting fucked up because they were trying to they're trying to they're trying to kill the tag banging shit because tag banging got so big. Cause it was like, yo, you can be in a gang and write graffiti and you don't do anything. Just be a wild kid. Yeah, and I'm just, just here And they're like, this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like even us, like, we were a big crew at that time, and we we would paint, and then you, there'd be like sixty little kids from East LA would come in with fucking twenty two to twenty five, just cap your shit, and we're like, we can't really fuck with like, we're not yeah. really do, dealing with that shit. Yeah, like, yeah that's a, you can keep that. Yeah, like, why don't you just go full banger? Like, yeah, you know that's, what what, that's, like, what, that's what I always thought. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's what the gangsters were like. Well, fuck, you want to you want to play around with guns in neighborhoods? All right, we'll yeah. see what it's really about. And then, it's like tag banging's always like baffled me. It's like you're too pussy to like to like gang bang, but yet you want to like rap some shit. Yeah. And then well, you and you're not good at eating. And you're not yeah, even yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, you're you're not even good at graffiti. You just, you just suck. <laughs> like you have notes. Yeah, this half time just suck. Is anyone on the line? We got, yeah, we got a lot. Of people. A lot of people. You want to take some calls? Yeah, let's, let's take, take some calls. calls. All right, let's... Zoe. Did she hear us? I can hear you good. Okay, Zoe, you're on. Listen, where are you calling from? Number one. I'm calling from Vancouver, Canada. Okay. So I'm just going to ease you into this uh, situation here. I want to let you know that you're on the line with Duotone from the Probable Truth Angels, but also we have Sita and Spore, two gentlemen who have decided to join me because today we're doing a show. We're talking about stealing graffiti and being a vegan. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. 
<laughs> do any of those do any of those apply to your lifestyle? Um, like stealing. I don't know. I could get. I'm writing a bunch of stuff for my um classes about like stealing art and appropriation and stuff like that so i guess kind of if you think about stealing graffiti and like we're talking, where about, is going the line into, we're drawn? talking about we're talking about rolling up in walmart with a trench coat and filling it full of frozen chickens oh yeah. hell yeah we're okay talking about well, foil, then foil line bags <laughs> wire cutters pushing, magnets pushing carts pushing carts cart yeah. runs you know what i'm saying just we're talking about literal anarchy I mean, I was a teenage girl, and that's like the epitome of thievery. So, so was I. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's that. get let's get to questions. Do you have any questions, Zoe? Do you want to hit us with a question? Because we're going to answer in a roundtable fashion. Um, and I I, don't, I was preparing to talk about a dream that I had last night, but I don't know. I could have oh, a no. question. How's no. it? Aside from how's it going? Um, okay. What's that? Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously, uh, Jason didn't prep you, but. Hey, we're not talking about dreams. That's the worst conversation you ever have with anybody. Okay, good. And B, and B, how's it going? To be asking about dreams. What's that? Right? I said it doesn't seem very two tone to be asking about dreams. No, I'm <laughs> but, not. I, I don't listen. Whenever someone's anyone, someone tells me I had it. When they say to me I had a dream last night, I go good for you, and that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> because anytime someone tells you about a dream. Six words in, it becomes so fucked up and un ununderstandable that you just don't want to be there that's anymore. That's your fucking dream. I don't know what's going on in your yeah, head. Yeah, that's your dream. You're like, I was broccoli and then I was a horse, but my dad was my mom and I was also a lizard and I was in a pool. You're like, shut the fuck up. What? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, word. Hey, that's crazy. So everything is good. I'm glad you called. Thank you for calling. And next time, prep them with a subject, all right? Yeah, shit. Love you, Zoe. Right, Talk soon. Time. Love you, too. Bye. 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 When's the last time you pushed a cart? Me? Yeah. Man, that shit was in uh, Oakland or Emeryville, I guess that border. Yeah. Shit, that shit was hella funny because it was like, every time I get caught by LP, it's always a girl. You know what I mean? And I'm always kind of like trying to impress her with my, my stealing. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. You're trying to impress the loss prevention? Yo, with... Yeah, because I'm like, you know what I mean? I was just like, oh yeah, look at me. I'm a bad boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. You're talking about the LP officer. You're trying to press them. Yeah, well, I didn't know she was LP. She was undercover. She was dressed as a... Get like, the fuck yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah. She's like, hey, what's up? You're like, oh, you know, just fucking racking CDs. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, you know. Getting shit for free. You want anything? <laughs> yeah, you know? Oh, my God. You fall, you just walk right into it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, so then she left the aisle, and I'm like walking out with the car, and I see her again, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know about that. Like, You know what I mean? And then like I walk out. Some dudes like started running from the side. Do, 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 freeze. And I'm just like, turn the cart towards him. Push the card into him and then just like run like you know what I mean? bounce. Yeah, yeah, it's gone out of there. You know. <laughs> what's the what's the craziest uh how many people we got in the room? We got uh, Lonnie Sincere in here or uh, she's they're they're here. Lonnie Sincere? Are we doing racking stories? Yeah, we gotta get into racking, racking, racking stories. I got some good ones. Okay, cool. In yeah. between. Yo, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can we see him? Oh shit! Um, there's something wrong with my camera. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Hold up. What's his name? Monty sincere. Monty sincere? It's, no, it's money sincere. Money. Hey, money. Listen, uh -huh. you, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta come correct on the syllabus and have one of those, one of those uh, subjects prepared. Don't come in All asking right. us how we're doing because it's not gonna be good. All right. Well, how you doing right now, though? See it? What I tell you, dog? <laughs> money, <laughs> money. We haven't started. I know. I that's what I'm saying. Already, but you're live on the show. Up. What do you want to talk about, money? Um. Well, I saw one of the posts, or on the post, it was a uh, like an idea for an art project or like a movie. You know what? I he Jason put that in. I didn't. I did not approve that. I don't want to hear about your art project or your movie. Let's talk <laughs> about your idea, love though. life, money, money. Let's talk about your love life real quick. Okay, well, uh, what do you want to know? Okay, first of all, what's your predilection? What does that mean? <laughs> what do you What do you like to fuck on? Oh, women. Okay, so but I'm open. I'm open to anything though. Like I don't. I don't really. He's flexible. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's yeah. flexisexual. But okay. I never See, found another. Flexible. I've never found another guy attractive at all. I, I like girls, but I'm open to anything. You're open to anything. How old are you? Uh, twenty eight. Okay, so when what do you have a do you have a significant other or are you single? 
Yeah, well, like, I do have, like, a significant other, but I'm not, like, trying to be, like, we're, we're just, like, I don't know. We're, we've been together for five years, but we're kind of, like, off and on. Sounds so, complicated. Yeah, so it's, like, yeah. it's, like, that, that the Facebook shit, and it's, like, shit, but it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's not, it's not, it's okay, not complicated we feel you more than is it a, to an understanding. We're, is it an open maturing. relationship? Uh, I mean, to an extent. I don't even call it that. I just don't like having, like, labels. Oh yeah, I know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't like labels. <laughs> so it's like she's conveniently your girlfriend you when you want someone to bring you a fillet of fish and suck your dick. But on the other times <laughs> on the other times when you want to fuck someone in the in the bar, she's not your girlfriend. That's why you don't want to label it. I'm fucking weak because I'm on FaceTime with her right now. She's here. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is just my conjecture. Yeah. I don't know the situation. Yeah. I bet you I started up. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Maury. 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 <laughs> no, it's not even like that, though. We, we, like, we really have like a like an understanding for each other. Yeah, that's like, how the progressive. Well, we both want to Hey, we got the we got the progressive graffiti vegans. Yeah. Yeah. The sensitive no, side. Hey, yo, I, I back shit. it. <laughs> Do what you want, man. All right. Well, I, I respect what's going on. When's the you guys? When's the last time you guys hooked up? Like yesterday type shit, probably. Okay. Like, <laughs> did, yeah, it was yesterday. I was on a Zoom. I was on a Zoom meeting at work, and um, yeah, she was like beneath the desk. Okay. Damn. She was under the desk <laughs> while you were on a Zoom meeting at work. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How'd you do? It? How'd you do in the meeting? Were you talking? No, uh, I had my I had my microphone off, but I kept the straight face. So How you get the, you get the video on too? Yeah, yeah. Money's yeah. a sicko. He kept the video yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. You're, gonna, you're getting sucked up. In the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, how tall is your how, how tall is your girlfriend? Is she like a height? She's like. <laughs> <laughs> no. she's she like didn't have to crouch down. Yo, she's yeah. like six. She's like six iPhones tall. <laughs> She's like, Yo, I, 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 I fuck with that. Here's here's my prescription. I think for all the hard work that your girl's putting in money and or your girl not girl, take her out one time. Do something yeah. you haven't done in a while. Take her somewhere she hasn't been. I don't know. Buy her a flower. You know that shit still works. <laughs> Girls like flowers. I don't know what to say. Uh, cook her some sweet uh, potatoes. Cook her some sweet potatoes. Make a smoothie out of sweet yeah. potatoes. You already know. You already know. <laughs> uh, a banana can go in there. Some cinnamon. Some cardamom. And you know what? Coconut water base. And and, I fuck with it. and make sure she gets hers too once in a while. You know, it's not all about yeah. you busting nuts under the table. <laughs> I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her. I'm not a and a Turkish honey <laughs> stick. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Money. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you too, Tony. Have a good day. Let's talk about a racking story. All right. In between calls here. All right, so let's talk about first like we gotta talk about the ones where you got away, right? Because the ones you get busted are no fun. Mm-hmm. Any fights? Any fights with uh, with LP or oh, heroes yeah. in general? Mm-hmm. You get yeah. into it all the time. Well, not all the time, but like when they stop me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like one time, I was I was like, it was some burnt shit. I think I was getting some Doctor Shoals. You know what I mean? I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was on, I was like walking around a lot at the time, so I'm like, yeah, let me get some like some foot pads. Yeah, yeah, some foot pads. You know, <laughs> so I'm like walking out the, the the fucking store, and a dude grabs my shoulder, and he's like, hey, yo, I'm gonna need you to come back with me, you know, loss prevention. And, and that's just, all you had was foot pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just turned around. And boom, just swung on a dude. You know what I mean? So it was like boom, like fighting in the in the Rite Aid parking lot. And then like a dude comes in. I'm like, yo, these ain't the police. These ain't the police. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So someone's like, what? What's going on? I'm like, I'm getting kidnapped. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So then someone else come in, like help me out. I get away. You know what I mean? It was a random person help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So then boom, I just start running, hit the neighborhood, called my girl at the time. I'm like, yo, I need a new shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, ripped yeah. my t-shirt. Ooh, yeah. Got a pro club. But yeah, you know what I mean? Got away in the end. You got to change your outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a new man. People don't understand why uh, why people wear layers. People, I remember someone's asking me, why, why, do they, why do you guys wear like, why do they have shorts over sweats over? I'm like, so you can change your appearance. Yeah. You put the thing Get out on. and they're like, he's wearing a pink shirt. You can like, well, now I'm wearing silver shorts and a gray shirt. Yeah. Doesn't match the description. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> what about you, Sport? You got a good one? Um, I never got caught racking. You never got caught. I've like I've always had like this like like random like like things like remember I remember I would rack Black Friday is definitely the way to go. So I would dress up as a fucking I would dress up as a uh what do they call it? Like a like a kills like a kills like a spray paint like associate. So I'd dress up and I'd go in there with like a and, <laughs> 
you know, whatever. I I go into the fucking I'd go into the fucking Home Depot dressed up like you know with a little kills thing, and then like I'd carry so you, a, so I'd you, carry a clipboard. Oh, so yeah. then I fill up a cart, you know, and then I would walk out, and then the people would be like, yo, like, and then like they they, <laughs> they question. I'd be like, oh, I'm just here. To, these are the defective cans. I'm just I'll be back in five minutes. No fucking way. And I just or like you know like shit like and that it, shit worked. It worked because every time knows. I every time I ever apply for a job, I'd go up push and push a cart. Plus, I'm like half white, half whatever. But, you know, like it just kind of works out in that way, which is unfortunate. But fuck it. You know, I'm going to take advantage of that shit. You can't yeah, be yeah. lying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just He's like, got to be half right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. just like more or less like you, got, you can use the I bought it online. Like as like like as you're walking out, like yeah. just like have like a oh, quick. You, yeah. you can't do it. But I, I bought it online. You can't break character. You can't break character. That's, once once you once you once you like stutter. Yeah. Oh. And I'm saying this like, just the, just like for food for thought for all you like weirdos out there and yeah. like rackers and little toys and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> don't fucking like just do it. Yeah. Like the less the less time you're in the store, yeah. Don't fucking yeah, freak don't out. Fuck around. You're in, you're out. You gotta be committed to your character. Yeah. yeah. You and can't break character. Yeah, don't break character. You can't show fear. Yeah, That's yeah. huge. Because people will believe what you tell them mm-hmm. up until the la- till, till you're walking out. You're yeah. not you're not a thief until you leave. Like you're he said it was good. You. Yeah. <laughs> you're just a you're a customer. And That's people so understand funny. That. I'm from the kills. I'm from Kills. Uh, Cent- <laughs> I'm from the Kills Warehouse. We have to get these effective cans out here. <laughs> it's Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. We get it's these Black out Friday. Here. This is the yeah, day the we do this. Yeah. Day, like yeah. the most tense yeah. in the world. You're like, like ah, yeah. <laughs> and then don't want to deal with And then this. half of them clog anyways. Yeah, right. And being an LP, being working for loss prevention has got to be like, who the fuck wants that job? Because yeah, you're getting swung on. You're not a cop. You got no fucking authority to do shit, really. Yeah, you kind of restrain them, bring them in until the cops come. But like. Yeah. You're just there to kind of get your ass beat. Yeah, yeah. If someone's like, if someone wants to swing on you, and if, you know, especially now. That right? one who got shot, like fucking, wasn't there like a like loss prevention up north that got like shot? Like, I, mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that did the sneaker store. Yeah. Oh, that was on Melrose. Oh yeah, yeah. that was recent. Yeah. yeah, it was like some dude got shot, and it's like, man, like, it's wild. not even every all that shit's covered in insurance anyway. It wasn't, even, so it wasn't like, even the shoes. It was a goddamn. T- it was a ticket. Yeah, like for the it's shoes. like, why are you yeah. even tripping on that? Well, because like, all the jackers were on Melrose. I mean, they probably still are, but yeah. during COVID, everyone's out there eating on Melrose and the fucking jackers were out there just because there's no cops. Yeah. Just robbing everybody. Oh, Insane. fucking, yeah. uh, you ever been in that one restaurant? Was it Maury's or, or Larry's? The Larry, fucking, that one trapper restaurant? That one hookah hookah spot? I don't know. Is uh, it Berries? Berries. You been there? Berries? No. I don't go to Barry because I don't know, go to Barry's. No, I know about it. <laughs> don't go to yeah. the people I know that go to Barry's are all fucking dusty. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I know what you all are about. Like, I'm not because they would be like, we're going to Barry's. I'm like, why is nah. everyone? Why is everyone from the hood going to Barry's? Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's berries like B B E R I something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, okay, or like okay, Blue yeah, Jam yeah. or something. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like it's like it's like we like, jamming. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no, no we jam is on you know, no, on Pico. Okay. That's a Jamaican spot. It's like um, I know what you're talking about. It's like. It's like kind of like hookah bar, kind of yeah, kind of hookah bar, kind of fancy, but not really. Across from the Beverly Center, right? It's like it's like you know the fucking every every fucking card in there is bull. Everyone, every card is fake. Like, <laughs> it's a every, flex. It's all scammers. It's yeah, like it's the, all scammers. Like the Orsinis. Like, right, right. <laughs> yeah. scammers. Yeah. Congregate on the certain, like there's certain things that scammers just love. Yeah, it's like the high price fucking goods. Uh, you know, fake fancy food. Yeah. Hookah. Balenciagas. Balenciaga for sure. <laughs> Scammer fits. Scammer yeah. fits. Yeah, that's a big because the whole scamming thing really came out of Atlanta, right? Like that's the original yeah. scammer. Yeah, like, yeah. They were doing it first with all the fucking the cards and all that shit. The London, Atlanta, London, the London, Detroit, London, UK, too. UK, UK, UK yeah. fools are crazy with that. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. Well, uh, Nigeria, yeah. but we started that shit. Yeah. <laughs> the original, the original yeah, yeah, yeah. phone scammer. I know you yeah. got the emails. You, know? yeah, you, <laughs> you see it? Someone must fall for it because like you still get yeah, it all the time, right? Yeah. No, you seen that fucking uh, cash app scam on Instagram? Mm-mm. Oh, they dude. get everybody with that shit, bro. It's insane. Yeah. What is it? So it's like pretty much it's like. Send us three hundred dollars and we'll give you ten racks. Oh yeah, I've seen that for yeah, yeah. Bitcoin. It's like yeah, yeah. Bitcoin for the Bitcoin mining shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then the whole thing is like, what's your cash app? What's your Zelle? And then they then they tell you to um, replace your email on the profile with their email. Nice. Yeah, you know That's what I mean. So, so you got to be like a special kind of yeah. fucking idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Probably no offense to the niggas. Like a couple <laughs> homies fell for that shit. But like, oh really? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you got to be kind of. 
dumb to like Look, replace your email. The <laughs> bottom line is, if it looks too good to be true, it is. Yeah. You can't get ten racks out of three hundred bucks. Yeah. Unless you're a fucking some genius investor, Warren Buffett, like you know. And it don't happen overnight either. Or you're on Shiba. Yeah. yeah. Or you or you got it. Or you got an area on Shiba. Yeah. yeah. I know the homegirl got. I got. I know a few people got. I got. got, got 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 off that shit. Damn, that's so pretty much like they were, they had like they like talk you into recording it, or recording like a fucking like selfie, and then they steal your shit and then put it on there, yeah. and then like pretty much like hold your DMs over like, your head. They're like, yeah, we're gonna like leave yeah, your DMs fish. so dirty. Yeah, 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 it's grimy. Like you've been saying some crazy shit in here. Oh you know yeah, what I mean? you finna get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got one of the. I found a I found a junk email where this dude's like. I have uh, I've had access to your camera and uh, I'm like I don't give a fuck. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, 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 what are you gonna do? He got me jerking off one time. <laughs> okay, ooh, <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? Yeah, so send me that footage. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like unless you do this, unless you do that, I'm like I don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> it only works if you're just like if you're like a fucking you know some sort of prestigious person who has to who has something. To, yeah, who has to have some sort of uh, I don't know. No one gives a fuck. You what know, doing. I hope not. Uh, any callers? Any callers? Yo. Yo, who am I talking to? Hey, you crossed me out. My, my name's Trevor. Trevor? What's, What's up? Populating. Where are you at, Trevor? I'm in uh, Manhattan. Oh, okay. Are you a man? Where are you a New York native or where are you from originally? I'm from Rochester, New York, like Finger Lakes region. Dude, and my then, brother. Down here, actually. My brother just got a cabin in the Finger Lakes. My brother's from New York. No, dope. That's sweet. Beautiful it's little part of really New York. Cool little, little upstate New York action, a little country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The school across from a cornfield, the whole the whole nine, you the know. The whole shit. It's crazy. As soon as you yeah, leave yeah. a big city, you're in the fucking sticks. It's insane. I can yeah, drive forty five really minutes beautiful. from LA and I'm like I'm in the middle of fucking the Adirondack or some shit. <laughs> you're in his hood. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. What's going on, man? How's it going? It's going well. I mean, just uh I literally just moved here like last week. Oh, okay. What part of Manhattan are you in? Upper West Side. Okay. All right. Uh, you're on. You're on today with Spore and Sita, these two gentlemen in the ski masks. What's and up, guys? We're talking guys? about shoplifting, graffiti, and uh, yam smoothies. That's right. Shit. Man. You have any questions for us? Do you want to cool talk about stuff. anything? You want, you want to talk about your love life? No, not really my love life. I saw you guys were talking. You guys uh, wanted to maybe talk about some art. No, no, that was a fuck no up. No art. Yeah, not your art. Because, <laughs> because. <laughs> Unless he, unless you're Jesse Edwards, I don't want to talk to you, bro. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, no, sorry. I think that was a typo on Jason's side. I feel I, I don't. Want to, what do you want? To, what do you want to say? What do you want to talk? About? You want to talk about art? I, I mean, art, that's what you guys do, right? What kind of art? Yeah, I mean, uh, David Flores just did a mural up in uh, Manhattan. I got to see the other day. It's really dope. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him out of Santa Barbara. Talking about street art. He's talking about you're talking about street art. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He does like oh, large David scale Flores. Murals, really I know dope. that is. Yeah, he does like the um the the portrait with the lines in the face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's like the face has got a bunch of that guy's been around for a long time. David Flores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody well, already tagged it. It's like a week old. Someone already hit it. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That's what do you? Happening. What's your what guys' is, opinion on that? Like going over large scale murals. How uh, do you feel about that? Are you asking us how we feel about that? Yeah, because isn't that the world you guys like? I know you do. Uh, that's a good graffiti. question. Yeah. Do you guys think no. you want to go first? Do you want to go, go um, first? And I'll go second. I mean, I, I feel like it depends on who it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like some artists like don't deserve respect. You know what I mean? Fair. Like, uh, if if I'm in like, let's say like like let's say Long Beach, right? And they got like the powwow shit, and it's like a bunch of like random ass people from like somewhere else. They come to get to get to paint the city. I like I, I say go over that shit. You know what I mean? Because that's the that's the shit they should get to like. The local artists, like you know what I mean, within a community. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, Sam. <clears throat> uh, I mean, honestly, just like in this day and age with the graffiti, like nobody gives a fuck. Like unless you came from graffiti and are now doing art, like your shit's getting got. Mm -hmm. Like these kids nowadays, yeah. they don't give a fuck. Like they go over dead people. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, they so don't it's care. like they don't care. They'll go over so, your mural. Like, like, no, like if you do yeah. something right now and you, you take a picture of it, because yeah, there's like, nothing you can do yeah, about there it. There ain't nothing mm -hmm. you can do about it, bro. <laughs> that shit's yeah. getting got with this little fella. The only the only street artist that we respect, his name's Alec Monopoly. <laughs> Yo, He's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only guy that's untouchable. Just so you know. Hey, that fool will yeah. sue yeah. you. Yeah. Please. He will get sued. <laughs> he'll sue you and he'll DJ about you. I'm trying to see some trap art. I want I need some like Hasbro. 
characters with yep. lean in, in cups. Yep. Uh, money money okay. signs. Um, you know, there's a knockoff of him. Yeah, it's called. There's a guy that. It's called Sin- There's a guy from Orange <laughs> yeah. County who knocks off Alec Monopoly called Sinister Monopoly. He, does it, he takes his shit and does it again. Like, it's so. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck universe are we living in? It's Yo, so fucked up. That's fire, though. I'd rather, I'd rather cop a Sinister yeah, Monopoly than that. Right, I'm going to get that Sinister Monopoly <laughs> NFT all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor, you got any NFTs, any crypto stuff popping? What are you thinking about these days in that metaverse kind of thing? Yeah, a little, I got a little bit of change in uh, Ethereum, but. I don't now know. we're talking Ethereum, like boys. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I got some of that. I got some ethereum early shout out to saul really he's, he up he gave me he said this is years ago he's like get buy ethereum and i put a rack on it oh fire back in the day and I yeah, did, oh, yeah. Know, it, it did pretty good i got it when it was like at like three three hundred yeah you know what i mean but i got it at like uh i think like 1200 but then i sold it and then i just uh, hit, up, hit the amc the bus yeah i, I got it mm-hmm. late i, I, I got the amc up. bus and the uh did you get? Did you get? Did it, did it work for you? Did you get in? Early? I was, uh, yeah, but we, I was doing the, the day trading shit. Oh yeah, hit a couple. Okay, home runs. Well, like okay. two of them, and then one of them fucked off. But right now, it's all Shiba, Shiba. All about Shiba. Shiba huh? Inu, Is Akita still, Inu, and Dojalon. Holler. What about uh, Scooby? You know about that one? Nah. They're talking about that at the gym. I got, I got my. Uh, my jits guys are like crypto guys too. Mm-hmm. They're like fucking jujitsu crypto lords, <laughs> and just, they just like they're doing jujitsu, and then they start talking about crypto. And they're just like Scooby, boom, like talking all this shit. And they're like, they're so fast with it. That's and they're just, they're like literally like on their phone in between like buying shit. <laughs> you, know, like financials. you know what's wild though? A lot of people that invested in crypto, like say like that don't have, this is like just like uh, some, I guess, knowledge, I guess. Um, that don't have like, the, say they got in, they put like 50, like they yellowed into like their crypto, like say like a, a, a random coin. Well, if you're on like a digital wallet, you have to have the gas fees to pay out. So if you could, if you did that shit, but like buses, you know, like yeah. the shit goes to 500k, you're gonna need like excellent. You're gonna like need like oh, at the least gas like fees. forty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars in gas fees. Oh shit! So a lot of the there's gonna be a shitload of kids, and uh, yeah, just like trapped. It's just trapped. It's oh just shit! Just stuck. You know, in a in a wallet, and then the shit you you can miss your fucking you can miss your shit, and then you know that's just those gone. gas fees are a motherfucker. Yeah, the gas fees ain't no joke. So yeah. like, I mean, you might have five hundred k, but in order to get five hundred k through an Ethereum, like that's like a, a very slow rate. I think it's like four hundred trades a second. Yeah, so to DCA push, out. You know yeah, I mean? to push that shit out is to be. Like, I love I love how people have adapted because in my day, like. Graffiti writers weren't ever talking about stocks. Yeah. They were like, oh, you're going to get some fucking blue chip goddamn uh, pork bellies. Now, graffiti was like, you fool, you got to invest in the fucking crypto. It shoots up. Like, it's like you guys are like, everything's changed so much. Yeah, yeah. Like, I hear people talking about like, I hear like gardeners and shit talking about crypto and shit. Like, I mean, there's still, are, there's, there's still idiots out there, trust. Like, yeah. Half, like, I say like yeah. 95% of the. No, for sure. Are the, the ones that are the most up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Trevor, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, the way you guys were talking about that gas thing, it kind of kind of makes me think that they should put like a make like a crypto that's just green, like solar wind. And like the only way you can like generate it is like a some sort of green crypto or something like that. I think that probably. Oh, uh, you're talking about like the mining thing. thing and like the electricity behind it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, honestly, like there's people in emissions. freaking like uh, east Eastern Europe that just have large facilities that are just blowing through and doing yeah. that, so they don't care. Yeah, they're saying yeah, that not gonna happen. they're saying the energy this crypto thing's putting out is like, I mean, look, dude, I, here's the thing. We're all swirling down the fucking the hole right now. It's not we're not going to mm-hmm. make it the next 100 years. We're not going to get out of here. Like it's just it's kind of a wrap. So, I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what that means. I don't think I, mm-hmm. I don't think anyone's going to fix anything. I think we're past the point yeah. of return, and I don't think like I think if let's say America tightened the fuck up and we went fully electric and full eco, yes. you think China is going to do it? Yes. You think Russia is going to do it? We're fucked. We are fucked. Yep. We are fucked. So when let's just get some. People, let's get some crypto. Let's tap into the metaverse. I'm going to be a dragon. <laughs> you can be a corgi. Let's fuck. <laughs> yeah, going to lead us to the future. All right, Trevor, it's been a, it's been a blast, and I uh, hope you have a, a good time. And shout out to uh, sorry, Barry Mural. Yeah, no, he's no, it wasn't his mural. It was wasn't David, his, David Flores. Flores. Sorry about David Flores. Sorry, see yeah. the tagged on on David's David mural. Flores, man. Sorry about yeah. your mural. Bro. Sorry about your mural, David. <laughs> that dude's been around for a long time. He's been yeah. around since like right the guy that does yeah. the. It's like gray, grayscale almost. Yeah, I want to say yeah. Yep. I seen like the ODB one he did. I yeah. forgot, I forgot where, where it's at. Is it, did he do like the bass rats? Oh yeah, shit? he did ODB. Mm. 
David Forrest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a, he had a show at Unknown. Yeah, but try the uh, the sweet potatoes for real. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna. Sh- 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 those are my shit. Yeah, I eat sweet potatoes like one of my staple foods. I eat those yeah. all the time. And you eat like the purple ones too. Yeah, the and Japanese then, like, ones. Oh like, yeah, those look are all crazy. Cool and yeah, shit too. You know. Yo, a sweet potato, Antonio, just low key. I don't know if this is. I don't. Hi, I mean, listen. Well, you get a you get a sweet potato, right? This is what I do. Yeah. I take a sweet potato. I puncture it with an ice pick. Mm. Put a little salt, pepper, whatever spices I got. Just throw it on that motherfucker. A little lemon juice. I drop it in the oven on four hundred. This shit's perfect. Yeah. There's nothing better. It's yeah. like and it and it tastes way better than it tastes better than like the way it tastes makes me think it's bad. That's how good it is to me. We're talking about sweet potatoes in your smoothie, Antonio. What do you think? Uh, I don't drink smoothies that much, and sweet potato in a smoothie would be something I would never consider doing <laughs> in my life. Hang up on it. Hang, hang up, up on this hang dude. Up, well, yo, um, click. Hang up, click. Yo. Hey, yo. Hey, you asked. Hey, yo. yo. Bing, bing, bing. What's up with this guy? <laughs> yo, <what's> up, <laughs> I'm about to go steal some fucking sweet potatoes Wait, right hold after on, this. No, shit. Let, him, let him live. Let him live. Antonio. <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> no, Antonio, redemption. do you have any, do you have any questions? It's redemption time. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, sure, I guess. I'm calling from TJ right now. You're in TJ? Yeah, I live in TJ. Oh, We're sick. Off Revolution? <laughs> that's uh, the only place, well, that's the only street I know. I live, uh, near Ipodromo, but yeah, I've been there. You I live mean, above Adelita's? Like, or Hong Kong? Uh, I've been there, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. Right. Wait, yeah. have you been, uh, yes. have you been to Hong Kong? <laughs> <Yeah. or? laughs> have you been to Hong Kong or Adelita's? <laughs> Both. I mean, which, one, <laughs> which one do you prefer? What do you like better? Uh, Hong Kong gets crazier. Like, especially for you guys, if you're coming from the U.S., yeah. definitely take women there. It gets insane. Yeah. I have some stories of a lot of girls that friends have taken there where they're like, they get them on stage or some, one time they got one in a hot tub. No. And it was up to us to be like, no, no, no take a chill <laughs> pill, pull them back, pull them out because, well, you know where these women have been, so it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you don't want to be in that water. <laughs> yes, that water's exactly. all fluid. That water is some fluid right there. Sheesh. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like a cesspool. It's just like, oh, shit. Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong. I was like, oh Yo, my God. Hong Kong she's during she's COVID? Me, Can you so. imagine? <laughs> Unless it was popping, I heard. I bet, right? Yeah. Uh-huh, no, I mean, I, if you're in Hong Kong and you and you can and you can survive Hong Kong, you're probably impervious to most things. Yeah, you're impervious to a lot of shit. Right? You probably yeah. can like yeah, 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 tetanus, yeah. all that shit's out the window. Have Hong you, Kong, have, yeah. Uh, have, <laughs> you, have you eaten at the spot, uh, the little the little the joint, restaurant? the restaurant yeah. where all the where all the uh, dancers eat at? Yeah, yeah. Wait, That's in it? Hong Kong? No, yeah. no, no, like, it's like outside, like next door, next under door. The hotel. It's like I don't think so. I haven't been there in a minute. Yeah, so there's like a, like a little little spot where they eat. Hong Kong is like good. when I was a kid. Yeah, no. It's... <laughs> the Morisco's place in front. I've been to that place. Shit is trash. Like all the all the time. You been there? To La the Nera. Yeah, I mean, I've been to a couple places around there. Me and my girlfriend used to always go out and go uh like to Calle Primera and just walk around and go to like the dive bars, but like like really dive bars. Yeah. Until one time it was like there was like a in the bathroom. Their face and it was like, <laughs> oh no. We're leaving and we're not coming back for a while. <laughs> that's a real, it's not like some fake Silver Lake dive bar. That's yeah, a yeah. real fucking dive yeah, bar. Yeah. Like you might go in the bathroom, it might be a hole in the ground. It might be just like shit on the wall. Oh, like, yeah, last time I, was, I went to a dive bar in TJ and I was with this dude and I had to go to take a shit. You know what I mean? Already kind of a fucking dice roll. And there's like yeah. two dudes fucking smoking meth in the, in the fucking stall. And was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> Like, that's as diving as it gets, I think. What are yeah. you doing out there in Tijuana? <laughs> Pretty much. I live here. I work here. I'm working. I was working from home, but not really. Drinking a couple beers. I'm yeah. a graphic designer. Oh, nice, sick. I like yeah. to hear that. That's good. So, you do work? Do you work remote? Do you have clients around the world? Yeah. I mean, in San Diego and here in TG specifically, I do like a lot of like branding, logos, and social media management is basically. More than anything, social media management is what pays the bills like monthly. So it's like regular income. Social media management. Of, like, yeah. So it's basically like handling your like your uh, company's Instagram or Facebook or whatever and like making the um, the content and posting it and answering all the. Do you work for any companies I might know of? Uh, not really. No, okay. I don't think so. I, I mean, I mostly work with a lot of restaurants and stuff here in DJ. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, San Diego. I'm starting to like try and expand and get clients over there. It's been mostly like, uh, 
like freelance work more than anything, nothing regular. Nice. Yeah. So uh, what, what's on your mind today? What do you want to talk about? Well, I, I read that you guys posted love, love, love questions or whatever. Yes. And if, I mean, I've been with my girlfriend for like, damn it, I think it's been nine years now. Yeah. We've been living together for like uh, three years. Yeah. And right now we're going to move to a house that she owns that her parents, that her father bought her. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you get the jackpot. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it's going to be nice. But now it's like very much like it's official, like. You locked in. And I don't know. We, we've been talking about getting married or whatever eventually, uh, but I don't know. So getting married is a complicated fucking thing, especially like as a Mexican person, because you got to have a huge wedding with like 200 people or whatever family from all over the place. So it's like, oh, it's just a pain in the ass to think about. But I was wondering, what would you recommend to keep like the spark going after so many years? Because it's hard. Man, well, as, a, as an expert in relationships... I know. I saw the last episode. I'm not. I'm the worst. <laughs> um, but uh, I would say this. You want to keep the spark alive. Uh, if, you know, I think that nine years, man, I don't know. I, I, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know. How do you how do you still I mean, are you guys still attracted to each other? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the thing. Like sex isn't as regular as it used to, but I mean, it happens how often, how often do you guys more. how often do you guys schmang? Maybe like every two weeks, every week. It depends. Yeah. Like uh, on a lot of things, but like sometimes it doesn't happen. Maybe it's ha it's happened or it hasn't happened in like a month one time. But whenever it does, it's like it's always like good, like like great, like you know, like maybe you switch like it up. I maybe switch it up and take a cue from one of my guests here and put on a ski mask. Just to change it up. Just to you. make it official. I've done it before. And, uh, get a leather ski mask. Get you get you some sort of some sort of blue pill. You want to you want to be mm -hmm. uh, you want to have an expert level boner, right? You want to be able okay. to cut th cut through fucking you know hot knife through butter, all right? You want to be able to balance a book on that motherfucker, okay? And then you want to go to work gently and expertly with the ski mask on, and also on top of that, before the ski mask even comes out, switch it up. Take her somewhere she hasn't been. Show her that you still care about her. Uh, you know, I think I think relationships have to be constantly be renewed and reengaged, and and you have it's work, man. You got to work at it, and you got to keep trying to figure out. Like you got to like when people say relationships work, I used to be like, man, whatever, that's bullshit. It should just be fun. But like you got to keep nine years, you got to keep that that eternal flame uh, alive. You got to you got to you got to turn the gas up a little bit. You know, you got to switch yeah. up. Maybe maybe just try this. This is what I like to do. I like to just I like to just Invite invite my girlfriend over in the middle of the, in the middle of the night, not even the middle of the night, just early evening. Invite her over and and leave the door unlocked and just jump out of a closet and scare the shit out. Of her. <laughs> that's what I love to do more. That that makes me. That's what I get out of it. for me and my relationship. That makes me happy. That's for me. Yeah. That's for me. This is a love for, language. For her. Yeah, that's my love language. She hates it. She hates it personally. But for me, that makes me feel really good. I don't know. I'm fucked up. Now for her, like I, you know, I, I can just I just show her some kindness, bring her some soup, uh, some flowers, buy her a present. Just show her I'm thinking about her, send her a little text. Hey, this is why I love you. Shit like that. Just let them know that you're there. But you gotta switch it up and you gotta come, you gotta think outside the box. You gotta do one for you, okay. one for her. So one one for you is you know jump out a puddle of mud and try to strangle her, and the other one for her is like take her to uh, take her to that lobster spot in Rosarita on the beach. Oh yeah, you know yeah that spot. That's yeah, my yeah, advice. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, Turkish honey oil. That shit is smacking. What the fuck that, is that shit? Is I'll push you on game. You put in the drinks? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Rick Ross over here? No, 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 Hold up, you can bring it up. You should probably bring it up. You know what I'm saying? That's that shit, bring right? It up. That's that shit. Like yeah. people like remixing that shit, like the Hennessy. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? That's it. Some Atlanta shit. Yeah, and man, that shit. Hold up, and also yeah, maybe try sweet potatoes. Knock them down. You know what I mean? Like don't don't knock it till yeah, you try it. Do you cook? Do you no, cook I like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are great. I make sweet potato fries or whatever. But just they like two glasses of water. Potatoes, I don't know about that one. I should have given you. I might like, be a little like texturally. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, it is a sweet potato, so some sugar and whatever. Yeah, sweet. Golden honey. 
<laughs> I mean, wait, golden honey? You mean like regular honey? When you say golden no, it's, honey, it's, like, it's, it's no, like, no, no, no. It's like a, it's like a pack. It's Turkish. It's Turkish honey pack. So what they call it. Oh, what is that? Oh, not it. It. No, no, no. It's it's honey pack. Is it boost your sex drive? Yeah. Make you harder. Does it work for men and women or just men? Uh, man, I don't okay. know. You can give it to your girl if you want to. Mm. <laughs> I mean, see what happens. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> you would, uh, hey, you got to keep it fresh, right? Try yeah. new things. Yeah. Hey, here's some lobster and some honey. Uh, that's it. That's it. Man's Royal Honey. Man's Royal Honey. Yo, I'm a firm promoter of that shit. Okay, that Yo, shit works. The homie knows. Yeah, dude. Just, hey, man, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something else. A lot of that, a lot of that shit in the health food store. That over-the-counter boner shit, that shit works because it has trace amounts of um, of the active ingredients in it. Just so you know. Yeah, it takes yeah. a zinc. I don't know. Yeah. Takes I, some I zinc. Think zinc. Yeah, I heard that's how you, that's yeah, how you fat cum shots. Splack <laughs> tax. <laughs> <laughs> you get the splack a But yeah. be sure to drink water right. when you when you get when you find the the honey stuff. The drink honey? two big ass glasses of water because that shit will have you fucking see in 3D. Really? <laughs> well Jesus. Okay, this guy's sick. But I mean it'll have her seeing like sure. fucking like, stars. So it's all water, good. Hydrate. Gotta hydrate. Hydration is. I key. hope I hope we were able to help you out with your love life and uh, good luck with the social media, and uh, and and send us a send us a, a postcard from Hong Kong or Adelita's next time you go. We'd love to hear from them. Love sports to you. Okay, for sure, man. I All will right. definitely do that. Also, before I go, I just want to say something that I'm glad that Maddie Madison's not on right now because I gotta say his new show that he's doing with Benny instead of doing the pod. Yeah, kind of sucks. Oh hey, well come on, Dude. man! Don't. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I, I thought you were gonna say I liked it before, but now it feels like they're trying to make too much go viral too hard. It feels like too much Kardashians. I will pass like, on. Like, I will pass it on to Maddie and Benny. Like fake. No, I'll I tell don't pass them. it on. I mean, well, they're, I, they're not gonna see this anyway, so no, they're not gonna bad. ever watch this, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, uh, Maddie's look, just to be a, just to let you guys know, I'm taking over the show. Okay. The podcast. It's great. I mean, Travel I love Truth the show, Angels but... is now under my control. We're negotiating okay. how that's going to work. Maddie will be a guest. We'll have him on all the time. But, you know, his heart's not in this kind of he's not in the not, podcasting ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Maddie's more of a of a of a of a personality than an interviewer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when Maddie's in yeah, town, definitely. bring him on. He gave us the boost we needed. Now we're off in the air and we're flying around and we get to we get to have people phone in from TJ. I mean, what, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, hey, you have a good day. Good, it was great man. talking to you. You too, man. Have a good one. Two-tone. Dan. What's up, two-tone? Dan, are you in Canada? No, I'm in uh, Washington, D.C. Okay. You're on the air with uh, Sita and Spore, these two gentlemen in ski masks next to me. I see. What's v going on, guys? Vegan graffiti What's thieves. What's up? Sweet potato warriors. Vegan graffiti what goes into being a vegan graffiti thief? It's a long story. Gore-Tex jackets. <laughs> What's on your mind, Dan? What's popping? You know, not too much. I'm just wrapping up, you know, a, a long week of, of work. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk. I, I've, my, I was listening to the last pod on my way home, actually. And I was listening to Umberto. And I had a really best, best call-in that I think I've ever heard. That was one of the best call-ins that's ever happened on this show maybe in the history of call-ins in general this dude called last show on seven hits of acid whoa no. and he's like I'm, he's like i just took seven hits of acid i'm a i'm an egg i'm an egg wrapped in a blanket and i'm like you just stay online <laughs> yeah, yeah we just kept yeah. him on for the whole show it was amazing no that's fine umberto was fire Two umberto tone. call in I again was... anyways dan do you go ahead i was afraid umberto was gonna get really tripped out when uh when uh, the other guy was telling his story about his bad luck car, I was I was really feeling for him. Nah, Umberto, Umberto's legit. He he, you could tell that he knew what he was doing. He wasn't about to fucking freak out, and he could handle his shit. Dan, do you have any questions about your love life? Um, well, funny you should ask that. So I don't remember which episode it was, but it was one call in episode, <laughs> and uh, you you really hit the nail right on the head. You were like. Get the porn off your phone, delete Reddit, stop watching porn, and your relationship will get better. And I did that. And then you started and fucking I, again. And then and then that shit, it just, wow. <laughs> and, uh, and listen, was, I'll reiterate. He's <laughs> like, he's dying. Uh, I'm not kidding. Well, you got you to gotta understand, I'm a, little, I'm a little older than you. And there's only, I only have... 
It's like I, I have the theory, like, you know, Trump has a theory about the, his life having a battery, right? His Trump's theory yeah. is that your lifespan has a battery. And if you work out or exercise too much, you use your battery. I have the same theory about nuts. I just think I have I don't have an infinite amount of nuts left in me. So some I think I need to save some of them for my relationship, because if I'm if also also listen, when we focus on porn and, and the Instagram and the Reddit and all that fucking OnlyFans shit, that's not rea- like that's not real, man. It's too crazy, it's and and there's too much. It used to when I was a kid, I used to I used to have to forage through the woods to find a scrap of paper with one tit on it, and like run and hide <laughs> somewhere and jerk off to it. Now I can, if I want to see a panda fuck a unicorn with tits going out of her ass, I can have that. I can have anything I want at any time. It's overkill. It's too much. What do you guys think? You guys, nah, it's true though. Like if you over here, like just like looking at porn all the time, you're not gonna get no real. No real net. I mean, what's what's what's? I mean, or you're just gonna just like I don't know, just be looking for like the I don't know, just like I don't know, fucking yourself over, like having like a bad like self like self reflection of yourself, being like, man, I want to fuck her like that, or like you're never gonna you're never gonna be that because that shit's filmed, you know? Yeah, it's just a waste of time. It's just a waste it of time. You. Cause then you're it on page like three hundred you know? of looking for like, porn. Sex is just like yeah, yeah, page three hundred forty-seven. Still can't find the right one. <laughs> yeah, you know, every yeah. page is open. Yeah. The right. whole, my whole, all my, all my energy in the computer. They're, I'm pulling energy out of the mainframe of the city to keep these tabs open. Like lights are flickering <laughs> down the street. I have 400 <laughs> tabs on open. I'm like grid. almost there, almost there, almost there. This is the one. Nope, this is the one. I gotta go to Colombia. Yeah. I gotta go back to Brazil. Yeah. It's like fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, I hate this background music. Yeah, <laughs> Not I don't. One. I don't like what the dog is wearing in the background. <laughs> yeah. I need better trees. It's fucking insane. It's too so, much. It's too so much. But it was for the best. You found the will to fuck your your partner again? <laughs> oh well, I mean, in, there was always a will. It was just whether or not you know, I I I was always in the mood because you know you get to that point. You know, I was get I was deciding do I want to you know go ahead and and have sex or am I like hey I could just jerk off right now. Yeah, that's and a sad I'm place like, to be. That's what's happening in Japan. They're not fucking anymore. They're People losing are, birth rates. In yeah, like they're a, losing birth rates. In Korea, in Korea and Japan, and even, I think, here now. It's going to happen here. We yeah. follow Japan and a lot of that shit. Like, yeah. Japan, was, <laughs> listen, Japan started most of the shit that we're dealing with right now. All yeah. the fucking emoji cute shit. Like, they've been running that shit forever. Japan, when Japan people stop fucking, that means we're going to stop fucking next. And, you know, maybe we do need to stop fucking. I don't know. There's yeah, a lot of us. Girlfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, NFT girlfriends. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a way in the metaverse where you'll get Solano coin for jerking off. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out how to make money jerking it. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. But yeah, listen, hey. you don't want to give your girl the second nut of the day. You want <laughs> the first. You want not. the first passionate. You want to give her the first one. You want to be excited. You want to be priority. Fucking, you know, you want to. Yeah, you want to get your horny levels up, right? Passion. Yeah. It's all about passion. Passion about in your passion. life. Passion for your wife. Cut, cut her like a knife. All right, Dan. Love you, man. Have a Later, great bro. time. Peace out, Two Tone. Peace. Have a good one. You too. See you guys. Later. Yeah, but try that. Uh, try that honey, honey stuff. It's I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna but drink two glasses of water before you do okay. it. Okay. Okay. And then give it 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Is so, it actually sweet honey? It tastes like honey and like like cinnamon and shit. So weird. Is it from Is it from Turkey? Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's like from Turkey. It's, I love it's, it. It's, I love it. all these like. It's like some Atlanta shit. Some that's, that's oh okay some Atlanta like, shit and then I heard, I heard about it and I was like I'm gonna try it fuck it I saw the liquor store yeah. and it works oh it works yeah <laughs> what about uh you ever heard of Tongat Ali yeah 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 I I heard this thing on a podcast about you take Tongat Ali and this shit called like something with an A called F I I just bought it on a Amazon <laughs> no not a fedrin <laughs> it's like another root it's like another herb yeah and it's supposed to boost your testosterone but Tongat Ali is supposed to be good for your endurance quote unquote. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're always trying to we're always trying to up the game a little bit as men, right? We're trying to figure out like, hey, you gotta lay it down sometimes. You gotta lay, yeah. You gotta uh-huh. have you gotta have your standout days. Yeah. Some days you can, you can give a solid six, seven, but some day you have to put it the fuck down. Exactly. You gotta let them know where the reminder. fuck you're coming from. Yeah. yeah. You gotta let them know. You gotta know. You got listen. This is what I do. Not all the time, yeah. but we do this. Just leave yeah. them, leave them love. You know. Yeah. yeah. Those always like, feel good. Yeah. Don't feel, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I did that. <laughs> She just right. fell out like. <laughs> On that note, what a show. What a show. <laughs> we did good.